no need to add soil, pesticides, or even water to this 6 by 8 foot garden, which produces over 100 pounds of fish and 400 vegetables a year. What kind of food facility is this? For one of our next 500 companies, it's a system about to revolutionize how the world eats. You are literally at the front edge of probably the most important technology that's come down the pike in food in a century and it will impact more people over the next 25 years than anything else we know of. Portable Farms makes on-site food production facilities using aquaponics, a unique farming technique using fish and plants. When you mix aquaculture, which is raising fish in captivity, feeding them, and raising uh, plants in water, and what we've done is we've combined the hydroponic component with the aquaculture component. So we raise the fish, use the fish waste to fertilize the plants. Coley first pioneered the concept for portable farms in 1972 while he was a student. It started by having to clean fish tanks at UC Davis. <laughs> so it's like it's gotta, there's got to be a better way to do this. And I started with a dish pan sitting on top of a fish tank with sand in it. The water's coming in. Plants grew like crazy for two weeks, and then they didn't like the water on their fruits all the time, and they quit. So I had to figure out, how do I make this work? How do I make this work? 37 years ago, from that to this. Over the decades, Coley engineered a patented system that automatically removes sediments from the fish tank without clogging a pump allowing fish and vegetables to grow healthier and faster than in any other aquaponic systems seen yet. I wanted to make this so bulletproof that I could have my neighbor have this and not have Dave and Lisa call me up at 3 in the morning and say there's something wrong. So everything that we've done is to make it more and more and more reliable and simple. Mm -hmm. Make it as simple as you possibly can and still work. Although a lot of engineering goes into a portable farm, like its gravel size, flow rate of water, and fish ratios, running a portable farm takes no special training. People say, well, I'm not a farmer, I'm not a gardener. I go, well, can you harvest tomatoes? They go, well, yeah. I said, can you pull a plant out? Well, yeah. So <laughs> I, I literally show them that you can take the old plant out and put a new plant in. For such a farm that requires little work and no training, the results are impressive. The largest unit, the 100 by 140 units, 10,000 square feet, produces enough lettuce to produce 400 side salads a day. Wow. 400 side salads a day. Okay? And if you added in a few other ingredients, you could produce literally five to 600 salads a day and you can serve 500 four ounce fillets every two weeks. These things are incredibly productive. Portable farms are so productive because fish stay in tanks wrapped with warming material and plants stay under a greenhouse, cycling the same water over and over. As long as the farm can get a source of light and keep from freezing, portable farms can go anywhere. Better whether it's Southern California, Washington, upstate New York, Maine, Canada. These can be put in the Antarctic for crying out loud. As long as you have grow lights, they can go anywhere. Uh, our goal is eventually to have them all over the world. Just a year ago, Coley and his wife decided to make Portable Farms their sole commitment. They wrote one press release announcing the new farm systems were available for purchase. In 10 days, we had people from 121 countries look at our website from all over. I'm just like, wow, what's going on? One newspaper article published soon after compelled people to visit the Portable Farms headquarters. People just showed up. We took our website, we took our address off our website so people wouldn't show up. We've had 4,000 individuals come through here since, In the last since January. Portable Farms had to stop giving tours in order to focus on its business and is now working with 38 countries as well as with military bases, schools, prisons, and entire communities in need of food. 
This is disruptive technology because you can now grow protein and vegetables in every city. Every city. These can be put on rooftops. These can be put in empty lots. So because you're raising food on site, you're creating it so that if you have pockets of hunger, you can put one of these units in and alleviate that hunger on the spot. Portable farms may be able to impact the hunger dilemmas facing much of the world, including the U.S. The statistic from uh, Feeding America is that one in eight Americans goes to bed at night hungry. That's the United States. That's an astonishing figure. And then in the world, basically one out of every six people is starving from protein malnutrition. That's, I mean, how can you help that? Well, little by little, we may be able to put a dent in that. A dent may be an understatement. This next 500 company may lead a global game change for food production. Will this change the world? In 25 years, this will be part of the landscape. Everywhere you go, you will see portable. People won't notice them anymore. They'll be that pervasive.